This is just a quick tutorial about how to put stuff in the sky that I thought that I would do. Open Blender and head over to the Compositing tab. Select Use Nodes and delete the Render View node. Then using Shift A, add a Movie Clip node. Connect this to the Composite node and open the movie clip you filmed. Then set the end to the amount of frames needed and make sure the output is in PNG format. Finally, select an output folder and render out the PNG sequence. Once that's done, we can begin the actual project. Start by going into motion tracking and open the video or image sequence that you just created. Set scene frames and prefetch it so the playback is smoother. Once the prefetch is complete, control click on a point you want to track. Select points which aren't moving and are in frame all the time, which is something that I didn't do because... Uh, I selected this post and this part of the tree that wasn't being moved by the wind. With these two points selected, click this button to start tracking the point. Once you have tracked all the points, go to the Solve tab, select the tripod box and click Solve Camera Motion. Finally, press these two buttons and you should see that the camera is tracked to the footage. Make sure you're in Cycles and Film is set to Transparent. Next, go to the Layout workspace and delete everything but the camera. I moved my camera to the center but that shouldn't really matter. Now it's time to add whatever you want into the sky. Uh, I just went for a simple Monkey Suzanne, but in your case it could be a spaceship or whatever you want. Go into camera view and animate the object in however way you want to make it seem like it's flying around the planet. Important things to keep in mind is your camera's field of view and how the object would rotate as it goes around. This is what I ended up with. Next we need to simulate what this object will look like as if it was in actual space. So that means one very sharp strong side light and absolutely no ambient light. Go into World Properties and set the strength to zero to make it pitch black. If it still looks a bit bright like mine does here, turn off ambient occlusions. Add a sun lamp and rotate it until you get the look you want, but make sure it fits in with the light direction in the footage. Also make sure that the light direction fits in with the rotation you animated earlier. When you're done, your footage should look something like this. To do the final steps, head over to the Compositing tab. Here, you can delete both Alpha Over nodes and the Central Shadow Render Layer node. This is what I have left. Add a mix node and connect both of the inputs to it and then set the blend mode to screen. You should already have something that looks semi-decent. Finally, we need to create a mask to cut out stuff like trees and buildings and luckily it's super easy for us because the sky is blue. Now might be a good time to add a denoise node if you want one. Add a separate RGB node and use the blue output to change the factor of our alpha over node. You can use a color ramp to adjust the mask. And that should be all. All you have to do now is select an output and render out your animation. Just a brief explanation about this project. I was inspired by movies like Star Wars and in this case this shot that you're seeing is Oblivion which is where I got the idea from. Brighter objects are able to pass through the atmosphere meaning we can see them but darker objects uh, do not pass so that's why we see the colour of blue. So that's how we can create this effect using just a screen mode. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck.